Okay, so we just saw data set that had um, no overlap between class zero and class one. And we did a logistic regression by fitting this function by minimizing the binary logistic class function. And we got this logistic curve with a sharp transition. Okay, now let's look at other sort of fake data sets here. Let's look at data set number two. Let me run this piece, run it. And now notice that there is this range. So it's still binary data, right? The data is either zero or one. And then, but notice that for this ranges of X, the um, sometimes it's um, Y value is zero. Sometimes the Y value is one, okay? So I can sh maybe zoom in a little bit. Right, so in this range, um, there's both some zero values and one values. Okay, um, the procedure is exactly the same. We are not really going to change the program at all because it's still binary data. Um, it just so happens that there is overlap in the data, nothing to change. Let's just run this piece by piece. Here we are just defining some initial guess for the unknowns. Uh, here we're just defending the input matrix, just like you do in linear regression. Um, here, this, this cell is just meant to demonstrate that we can compute these last functions or logistic last functions. This cell uh, computes the, or uh, sets the options. So let me just do this piece by piece. Nothing there. This sets the um, options for the optimization, how long we let it run and things like that, or how accurately we want, or what output is provided on the screen. And now let's run the actual optimization step. Very fast, um, looks like, it ran very quickly. Um, what is the decision boundary level when you transition from a probability of less than 0.5 to greater than 0.5. It, so hap it says 0.4. Does that feel right? It sort of feels right, I guess. It's 0.4 is around here. That's roughly when things transition. And then now we can draw the whole logistic curve. We've calculated the values of B0 and B1. All we are doing is plotting 1 over 1 plus e power minus B0 plus B1x, which is what this logistic function is, okay? 1 over 1 plus exponential of minus z, um, where z itself um, is b0 plus b1x, uh, which is computed in this sort of cryptic manner, okay? We are saying x goes from some minimum to some maximum, um, and then we construct this x matrix, and then we go x matrix times b, which basically will do B0 plus B1X for every value in, of X in that X matrix. You can think about that. So this is basically a list of Zi's, Z equals B0 plus B1XI. And then you apply the logistic function to that. You get a bunch of H of XI or G of Zi, which is this quantity that we're gonna plot. plot. Okay, so that's what that looks like, okay? So notice, that because there is this overlap, um, this approximation of this data has this gradual change. It's basically saying, hey, if you give it, give um, if if the value of x is point uh, uh, zero or something, uh, then the probability of you getting one is about point two. That's the interpretation of this curve. Okay, it's, it's got this probabilistic interpretation. Okay, so. Notice that we didn't actually have to convert this binary data into probabilities before fitting this. It just sort of naturally gave this nice smooth um, approximation, okay? So um, that's the end of this video. Uh, we'll see other types of data maybe in other videos.